Welcome to a Positive Minds Reading Space. The name of this book is Little Pink Pup. One cold night, twelve piglets were born in a barn. The smallest one was named Pink. Pink's brother and sister piglets were strong and healthy, but he was tiny and weak. They were playful and pushed Pink aside when it was time to eat. Pink was cold and hungry. His owners brought him into their house to see if they could help Pink. Tink was a brand new dog's hood mom. She had one puppy of her own and was a foster mom to a few others. When Tink saw Pink, she immediately welcomed him into the family. She licked him and fed him and tucked him in close. She made him feel right at home. Tink knew that Pink was different from her puppies, but she didn't mind. Now Tink had lots of brown puppies and one little pink pup. Pink's new siblings welcomed him too. He may not have looked like them, but that didn't matter. He was just their side. The puppies didn't sleep on straw like the pigs in the barn. They slept on a soft blanket and their warm bodies kept Pink cozy. Little by little, Pink started to eat more. Nobody pushed him away. He began to grow stronger along with his puppy siblings. Soon Pink was running around the house. They liked to wrestle and nip at each other. They chased each other and played tag. Pink loved to get his ears scratched, but he hated taking a bath. When it was bath time, he would squeal loudly and kick out his legs. Sometimes Pink would visit his pig family in the barn. His pig siblings had grown so big They were about 20 pounds each, and Pink weighed only three pounds. After his visit, Pink was always happy to go back to Tink and his dog family. Once Pink and the puppies got a little older, it was time to eat solid food. But when Pink was offered pig food, he refused to eat. He wanted puppy food like his brothers and sisters. When Pink got too big to live in the house, he moved into the barn. But he made sure to take his dog bed with him. After sleeping on a soft cushion his whole life, He did not like the scratchy straw. The dogs missed Pink, but they would still play with him in the barn. And no matter how big Pink grows, he will always be Tink's little pink pup. Thank you for joining me at a Positive Minds Reading Space.